So in this video, I'm going to be talking about why surrendering is the solution and why surrendering is so powerful and what surrendering even is, because a lot of people think surrendering means giving up. So I just want to clarify all of that for you. So when I'm talking about surrendering, I mean essentially like releasing control. So you're going to stop contracting or distracting or taking action that isn't aligned. And you're going to surrender more, which means you're going to allow what you're feeling to be there instead of resisting it or making it go away. And um, you're going to, when you're feeling and sensing more, you're going to actually have more awareness of your body guiding you like, hey, this feels light, go in this direction. This feels heavy, don't go in this direction. And once you have that feeling and that awareness and you start honoring it, then you're going to be guided to all of your heart's desires versus when you're controlling like, okay, I don't trust that I'm resourced. I don't trust that I'm going to receive my heart's desires. I have to make it happen and do it myself. So I'm going to go and control things and make it happen. And like, you can tell when you're in the energy of control because it's going to feel... Uh, it's gonna feel like pushing a boulder up a hill or you really have to think about something or you're afraid Oh, if I don't word this exactly like correctly, I'm going to lose this person or this opportunity um, If you're ever feeling that way, it means this thing is not aligned with you Like you cannot lose something truly aligned with you So if you say one thing wrong, like if you maybe said something to a person you were dating and then they were like Oh, this person's too much. I don't want to date you anymore that person was just never aligned with you. So instead of sitting there and controlling, what should I say? How should I say it to make sure this person doesn't leave me? That would be controlling. Surrendering would be like, I'm going to say what I feel like saying, obviously try to speak with, you know, intention and love and kindness. Um, but like releasing control is what's going to bring you what is aligned with you. The longer that you control things, then the longer that you're going to have things in your life that are never meant for you. So if you're in a relationship, for example, and you're so afraid to lose this person, so you keep trying to control things so that they stay in your life, then you're going to be in that relationship longer, which means it's going to take longer for you to meet the person who's actually aligned with you. You know, and it's the same thing with like a job situation. If you're like, no, I, I need to find a job. So I need to be like searching and interviewing and applying constantly. But maybe none of these things actually feel aligned with you. And you if you're dropping into your body, you'll be able to feel it like, oh, it feels heavy to even fill out this application or prepare for this interview or go to this interview. And it might need to get louder for you to really realize you're like, okay, maybe filling out the application is not that bad because it was a short application. But then when it actually comes to preparing for the interview or having the interview, and then you realize like, oh, this feels super heavy. Like, I don't even want this. Um, it's okay if it needs to get louder. Um, but if you just keep doing these things over and over again even though they feel like pushing a boulder up a hill and they feel like effort and controlling then you might end up with a job that was never aligned with you in the first place and now again it's going to take longer for you to do what you're actually meant to do for a living which is something that you love and are best at and really good at and when you're in that joy you will receive more wealth as well than anything else that you could possibly be doing be doing and this would be true wealth as well true conscious wealth is like the journey matches the destination not i do all this work till one day i have this much money and then i feel peace it's like you feel peace and joy as you're creating this money for yourself um so that is why surrendering is so powerful because if you're not surrendering and you're controlling then it's just going to take longer for you to have your heart's desires and I'm going to share personally what happened for me when I surrendered, when I had severe depression. I was trying everything to heal. I was like Googling how to heal depression, going to the second and third pages, trying every single thing on there. Like you name it, I have probably tried it. Conventional, unconventional, everything I could find. Um, but I was doing it out of control. And like, I really don't want to feel what I'm feeling. So let's just try to find something that's going to make this pain go away. And I was constantly searching, constantly trying, investing thousands of dollars 
on trying all these things that were never aligned with me. Um, and it was only when I surrendered that I found like in the most fluid, synchronistic way, the exact resource I needed to heal from depression. Like I found my mentor, somehow I signed up for this online summit that I literally have no idea how I even signed up for it because back then I wasn't into this kind of stuff. And I heard my mentor speak on the summit and she was um, promoting one of her courses. I took her course and I healed from depression by taking her course. And the feeling I got when she mentioned this course, it was like everything in my body lit up like you're doing this. Like there was no like, oh, but investing more money. No, like it felt differently than any single thing I tried before. And I tried so many different things. This felt light. It felt like a hell yes. It was exactly what my body needed. And that's why it felt so light. But it didn't come into my life until I surrendered. And at the time, I didn't realize that I surrendered. I thought I gave up. Because I was like, oh, I've tried everything that I can find and nothing is working. So I guess I just have to manage depression. I guess just nothing really works. And so I kind of gave up. But what really happened was I just stopped trying so hard, efforting so hard. That's what really made all the difference. There was an opening in my, sh in my vibration, in my consciousness when I did that. Because now I wasn't constantly trying to resist what I'm feeling. Like, let me do anything to make this pain go away. I'll do anything in the world. I had finally softened and stopped resisting like a little bit. I didn't fully stop resisting. I took a job where you work like 16 hour days so that I could distract from my pain. So I hadn't fully surrendered. I hadn't fully got out of resistance. But by just like stopping things that felt like such effort that were never really aligned with me, I had like an opening and a shift there. And that was enough for me to welcome in the resource that I needed. I don't think it would have come a day sooner when I was still in the energy of controlling. Because when I was in the energy of controlling, it was like me essentially saying to my body, like, I'm not willing to welcome what I'm feeling. I'm only willing to suppress it. And the resource that I needed to heal from depression involved me welcoming my emotions. I had to be ready for that. I had to max out on everything else and realize it doesn't work before I was ready for that. I really had to surrender and like, okay, whatever it takes, I'm willing to do. And that's what brought in exactly what I needed. So that's why surrendering is so powerful. And I found it personally for me so powerful. And in every little area of my life, big and small, that I've surrendered, instead of controlling and made decisions from that state of like what feels light and what feels heavy following what feels light dropping what feels heavy it has always created more for me than anyone else around me that is controlling and anytime i ever controlled it creates way more than anytime i ever tried to control something when you really pay attention you'll see it control only creates like a little bit of something compared to when you surrender and then you follow things that feel light and what gets created it's like oh my god amazing how fluid how effortless how aligned how exactly what you needed exactly what you wanted better than you could ever imagined coming into your life like that's how it how it happens when you surrender so that's that's why I filmed this video because I just want to hammer in this point how powerful it is to surrender instead of control. And I actually created a course very similar to the one that helped me heal from depression because that's all that it took for me actually was just doing like an online DIY course. I didn't even have to work with my mentor privately before I started healing from depression. Everyone is so different, but that was enough for me to heal from depression. And that's why I created a course very similar to that, that has everything that I did to heal from depression that also ended up healing physical illness for me as well, like acid reflux and other things like that. So if you want to take that course, because when I was in your shoes and then I found a course like this and it showed up in my life, it was exactly what I needed. If this feels light for you, honor your yes. You can feel out the page, see if it resonates with you. I would love for you to have the same kind of experience that I had when I followed my yes. And then I was like, wow, this is what happens when I follow my yes. So if it feels light, go for it. If it doesn't, that's totally cool, but I'll put more information on that course 
right below this video. So I hope you found this helpful and I'm sending you so much love.